In this video, we will learn about vectors in R programming language. Vectors are the most basic R data objects which are further divided into six types. The first type is a character. In characters, we can store character values. For example, this is a character quoted inside double quotes. The second type is double which is used to store decimal values. Third type is a complex type. In this example, 2 plus 8i. I means iota which is a term used in complex mathematics. The fourth type is row. In this example, char to row is a function that is used to convert a character value into its row value. In this example, we are converting the value val to its row value. The fifth type is an integer type which is used to store a simple integer value. And the last type is a logical type which is used to store boolean values that is it can store true or false. Now we will practically see how to create and modify vectors using our predefined functions. In the first line we have written a print statement inside which we have declared an atomic vector of type character. Any value within double quotes is a string and this is of type character. In the second line we have a vector of type double and we have printed this value that is 12.5. Similarly in the third line we have printed an integer type of value. Fourth line is a boolean type of value. Fifth one is a complex type of value. As we have discussed in our presentation that i stands for iota that is a complex mathematical function. And last one is a row value which we have printed using char to row function. Now let us see the output of all these statements. The output of first line of code is abc. The output of second one is 12.5. The output of third is 63. The output of fourth one is true. The output of fifth statement is 2 plus 3 iota. And the output of character to row value is 68656 c 6c 6f. Now let us see the operations that we can perform on vectors. First, we are creating two vectors with values. First, we are creating two vectors with the given values. After that, we are adding the first vector with the second vector and we are printing the result. We have stored the addition of vector 1 and vector 2 in add.result and we have printed this. Now as you can see, 3 plus 4 will be 7 that is the first element of our new vector. 8 plus 11 will be 19 that is the second vector and similarly all the values have been added in the new vector. Similarly, we have vector subtraction, vector multiplication and vector division. Now let us see the result of all these operations. Vector subtraction will give the subtraction of first vector minus second vector. Multiplication will give multiplication of first vector with the second vector and division will give division of first vector with the second vector. This is all we will do with vectors. Thank you.